What's up guys, welcome back. Quick lesson today, we're gonna talk about how to move across the fretboard and connect shapes together, like this. So I played just a um, G major scale, obviously, but kinda in a more horizontal approach. So I started from this position and I ended up here. So I thought this could be helpful for you if you feel like you're stuck in shapes and you can't really connect things together and move freely across the fretboard. So this, this could be a simple exercise that could help you with that. Basically, let me play that again slower so you can see what I'm talking about. So G major scale moving across different patterns and this is based on the fingering. So I start with one and then I move the index finger one on the next note of the scale. Then I proceed with the scale, I go to the next string and again um, I'm gonna move the one on the next note and this way I'm kind of moving um, Every time I change string, I can, I'm kind of moving towards the end of the fretboard. And this can help you basically to move across different shapes because this way we're not really relying on specific patterns, but more like on the notes of the major scale. So actually this is also helpful for you to memorize the actual notes of, of a major scale and not just rely on the shape, which is good for some applications, but you always want to know what you're doing, right? So basically every time you're gonna play with the one and you change string you're gonna you're gonna move forward on the next note with the same finger. Same thing if you go backwards. So when I get to the one I'm gonna move back one note. So Obviously you want to apply this to every major scale, not just the G major scale. And this way you should be able to memorize major scales uh, more in depth. You know, just get out of shape if you're like, if you're stuck within the... Like the vertical approach is cool, but it doesn't let you move across the fretboard. So it can give you, it can make you feel stuck in one shape. So an exercise like this could be helpful uh, in that regard. And yeah, that's it really for today. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of quicker uh, lesson video thing. <laughs> As always, if you're interested in Skype lessons, I do offer one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons. You can just hit me up on Instagram or Facebook or send me an email. Um, we can talk about details. Um, if not, I will always be posting this free uh, content on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next videos. See you in the next one. Ciao!